Are you thinking of retiring soon but are still not sure if you would jump into a 55 plus or active adult community? The development of 55 plus communities started in the early 1960s with the concept that retirees should be able to live in a self-sustaining community with access to amenities and necessities. So many retirement communities are popping up all over the country. Watch my videos on the 55 plus communities in my area. I think you'll be amazed by their resort style amenities. First impression of the lifestyle. You may feel like you are on vacation every day. Yes, that is true, but there are also cons or problems in these communities and that is what I will be talking about to you today, so stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Lynn Alvarez, a realtor and broker with the Alley Group Real Estate in Charlotte, North Carolina. If this is your first time on our channel, please like this video and subscribe below. If you're already subscribed, thank you. My husband Albert Alvarez and I have been fortunate to have had many clients move from different states to Greater Charlotte and a majority choose to live in 55 plus communities. We get calls emails and texts every single day from people who need the help finding their forever home. Although 55 plus community or active adult community offers so much fun and enjoyment to its residents, there are also negatives or to be more accurate, problems that you may encounter every day. So here we go. The first one I'm going to tell you is that home prices for 55 plus or active adult communities are not cheap. In a full amenity community that has, for example, indoor and outdoor pools, pickleball courts, tennis courts, bocce ball, clubhouse, pottery studio, dog park, social clubs, and lifestyle director, expect home prices from the low 500s to the high 900s. Some communities with country clubs and golf courses are going up over a million dollars. However, there are some small communities with fewer or no amenities starting from the high 300s to the mid 400s with small single-family homes ranging from 1,400 to 1,800 square feet. Second, HOA fees are relatively high. In a regular master plan community, the HOA fees are typically $80 to $150 per month, including amenities, but excluding lawn maintenance. In a 55 plus community, the HOA dues are from $250 to over $400 per month, including lawn maintenance and use of the amenities. You don't have to worry about cutting your grass and other yard upkeep since property management takes care of yard maintenance. Some communities mow the front, sides, and backyard, but some will just do the front and sides so you have to take care of the backyard yourself. Third, there are fees involved when you buy a house such as capital contribution or possibly club membership. Many 55 plus communities impose a capital contribution, sometimes called an initiation fee on new owners. This is a one-time non-refundable fee paid by the buyer at closing. These fees usually go into a special account used to fund capital improvements and repairs in the community. They range from $1,500 to $3,000. The other fee, if applicable, is membership to the country club ranging from $6,500 to well over $15,000 if it includes golf membership. Fourth, social interactions can be overwhelming. Depending on your participation, if you are a friendly person, you may be invited or pulled into a lot of activities in the neighborhood. It is very common to have a community Facebook group with a list of daily, if not weekly, activities in the community, especially when there is a lifestyle director who coordinates the fun activities and other opportunities for everyone to interact. Frequent social interaction is not for everyone, so consider how much time you and your spouse will spend with other people. I have heard the social obligations of living in an active adult community can be exhausting. 
Lastly, do you know there are cliques and gossips in a retirement community? If you think everyone has outgrown this, you are wrong. Most residents are retired and have plenty of time in their hands. Sometimes residents are biased against certain races, beliefs, or political affiliation. One thing I know is that even in a regular community, you should not discuss your political opinion with neighbors. These are the major negatives of living in an over 55 community. There are also, of course, some minor ones, but they need no mention in this video. Do these things discourage you from moving to an active adult community? Ah, uh, you shouldn't. Just remember that the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. You don't have to worry about your neighbor's son playing the drums after school on weekends or dribbling a basketball on the street even after sunset. You will have peace and quiet in 55 plus communities compared to regular neighborhoods with families. You will be with people in a similar stage of life, most likely looking to make friends. Another advantage of living in these communities is less home maintenance. Are you planning to retire soon? If you're thinking of retiring in Charlotte or the surrounding areas, contact me by calling or texting 704-975-2429 or send me an email at lynn at lynnalvarez.com. My husband, Albert, and I have been working with a lot of over 55 adults. We have made several videos on 55 plus age restricted and 55 plus age targeted communities. You can see a video I did explaining the difference between these two terms at the link below. Check out our website, charlotteactiveadults.com to see all the homes for sale in 55 plus communities. We will help you find the perfect home to enjoy your retirement. I appreciate your time watching this video and subscribing below. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon.